Hey there, everybody. We are here to discuss the new Cobra Kai Season 4 trailer. We are talking fast. We are showing no mercy. I don't know who we're battling in this, but... Who are you fighting? I, okay. Cobra Kai! We, listen, I do not think I have the hand-eye coordination to even do what it is that you just did. I am the... I am the Cobra Kai All Valley audience member that just sits up there and like taunts people, even though I know if I got down there, I would be destroyed by any single person at any dojo on this show. Except maybe John Kreese. If you've been watching Dancing with the Stars, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Listen, Martin Kova, the great stunt coordinator who has done a very good job on some of the choreography that I'm sure they have asked John Kreese the character to do. Yes. We will talk in this video about what we've seen in this new trailer, which I think is really, really fun. We've got Terry Silver in the mix. We'll share some kind of our early expectations. But before we go further, why not unleash a karate move on that subscribe button? Why don't you just hit it with a swift kick? That way <laughs> you're subscribed. You don't miss any of our discussions on Cobra Kai coming up. Crane kick that subscribe button. Look at you with the terminology. I See, love Karate Kid. I I love this show so much. It's like this. It's probably. See, I'm almost getting so much excitement going on in me. I'm almost like dying of choking halfway through this video because I've been waiting for so long to talk about this show. It's going to be back December 31st. So we're going to be kicking off the new year with lots of Cobra Kai. It's going to be great. Season four. And we're going to be here for the season. We're going to be bringing you reviews for each episode. So we're going to do sort of like a an episode a day. That way we can kind of, you know, not binge it all up at once and then just be like oh we have no Cobra Kai now for like however long see most people on New Year's Eve they're gonna be drinking because it's New Year's Eve we're gonna be drinking because we're trying to keep ourselves from watching more Cobra Kai at once and we don't binge ourselves to death so just be like this will get us through not watching them all now Okay, so the thing that I'm actually the most excited about from this trailer is seeing Danny and Johnny working together. Now, I love the Cobra Kai dojo. I loved it when Johnny was there. I am in my heart Cobra Kai till I die, only if Johnny is running it. <laughs> However, seeing the two of them trying to work together is the thing that I am the most looking forward to because obviously their styles are very different. They've been rivals for a really long time that have come together with a common enemy and i think it's gonna be really funny <laughs> listen i i am probably more miyagi Do, mostly because i think i relate to the students of miyagi Do the most because they're the awkward weird ones and listen hey johnny has some awkward weird ones as well when he was running cobra kai he's kind of that middle ground I just, I, I, I'm with you though, that I, I love the idea of the two of them getting together. I already love the idea that Johnny in the middle of these lessons is just going to try going like, you go in there and you kick your you know what and really being super aggro about it. I don't know how many fights we're going to have between these two over the course of the season. We're definitely going to have some back and forth growing pains. And the thing that I just don't want to see end up happening is Johnny becoming more Miyagi-Do and then not seeing Danny learn a little bit more about Cobra Kai and how things work with how Johnny was running it. I want to see them kind of meet in the middle and not just it all turn into Miyagi-Do. I think it's... It's important that we see some growth with the two of them. And I think this is one of the things that has made this show really so good is that, yeah, Daniel LaRusso is the hero from The Karate Kid. But at times on this show, he's kind of a little bit of a prick. He kind of is a little bit unrelatable because he is so successful. And when you think about some of like the Miyagi-Do methods... Like, they can seem a little absurd to a lot of people that, oh, I'm going to go and paint and this is going to make me somehow better at karate. So I think he needs some of that Johnny Lawrence accessibility for better or worse in his life. I agree. Okay, so it looks like also in the trailer we're going to see 
maybe a little romance going on. We know that Johnny and Miguel's mom, Carmen, have been hooking up and we saw a little kissing going on. So there's going to be a little bit of that. We saw Robbie over at Cobra Kai the way that it is now. Looks like maybe there's going to be a little something, something going on over there as well for him. (laughs) Oh boy, there's so much romance on this show. Like, who would have thought it would end up being so much about the heart? It is. Okay, so we're five minutes in. We haven't talked about Terry Silver. So we have to talk about Terry Silver. He is going to be coming into the show in a big way. John Kreese is going to be partnering up with him. So it's not just going to be Johnny and Danny against John Kreese. John Kreese going to have Terry Silver helping him as well. And, you know, for those of you who grew up with the Karate Kid movies, Terry Silver... Big part of the movie franchise, especially part three. He has significant ties to the long-term history of Cobra Kai. This is not someone who is just sort of coming in out of nowhere. But I do I do really like the fact that, you know, this show is so many decades after the original. And I think they've done a very good job of sort of showing <laughs> a real passage of time with some of these people. Because I think when the Karate Kid movies were out... I don't think any of us would have thought way back when that, oh, daniel son is going to be running a car dealership years down the road. So who knows what Terry Silver is going to be like now. Yeah, I mean, this show has done a really good job of just making it accessible to everyone. If you have never seen Karate Kid, it doesn't matter because they're giving you enough information while you're watching the show so that you know what happened in the movie with the small little bites that they'll give you. And they're explaining sort of along the way what the different rivalries are, what the different partnerships are. Like, if you have never seen Karate Kid, this is still the show for you. Here's the thing that I'm probably like to have the most questions about in my mind going into this season is that we have had it set up now that, okay, if Cobra Kai loses the All Valley, then John Kreese is going to leave. But then, you know, there's these two issues with some of this. If John Kreese loses, like, where does the show go? Does John Kreese just leave? And then it's also like, okay, well... Who's to say he's actually going to hold up his end of the bargain? Like, this guy is terrible. Why are we trusting him? Yeah, because, I mean, we're going forward knowing that there's going to be more Cobra Kai coming. So Johnny and Danny are not probably going to lose. <laughs> I mean, what then what happens? And we're watching the John Kreese show. I don't think that that's where we're going to be going with it. But, I mean... Either something's going to have to happen with this All Valley where, you know, maybe they're both disqualified or there's no winner so nobody leaves. Or John Kreese is just going to be like, I've decided I'm not leaving because that is something that he would absolutely do and be like, what are you going to do about it exactly? And it would once again kind of raise the question of like, where is law enforcement in this area? Because it is sort of weird that we have a society here that is controlled by what is the most popular dojo in the community. I mean, we even get a line about this at the end of the trailer that everything is riding on all of this. Like, at what point do the cops just get involved and be like, hey, you get out of this dojo? I love Danny's wife. She's so funny and she's so good on this show. And yeah, she did sort of leave this line at the end where it was like, wow, our whole lives are all based on this tournament. And there's actually actually like this tiny little clip in the trailer too, where we see her standing, I think at a grocery store with John Kreese eating an apple at her. I cannot wait to see that interaction. It's going to be so weird and so awkward and... This is the other interesting thing about this show is that, you know, we could sit here and have this long discussion about like the Sam, Miguel and Robbie love triangle or any of these other teen romances. Mm -hmm. But it's like they're interesting. Don't get me wrong. But this show does such a good job of sort of making, you know, the legacy characters, the Johnnies, the Daniels still so important on the show that. You know, while you sort of enjoy watching the kid characters, you can be invested in everyone. And that's why I don't really care what happens when it comes to Miguel and Sam in that sense, just because I like everything around them. If they stay together, they stay together. Good for them. But I will be able to enjoy things regardless. 
The one thing that they've done really well, which is very difficult to do, is to sort of balance that love triangle where you actually enjoy both couples. You don't see that a lot. I mean, we saw that on Vampire Diaries for whoever's watched that show out there also watching Cobra Kai, <laughs> where it's like, I liked Sam with Robbie a lot. I like Sam with Miguel a lot. Whoever she ends up with, if she ends up with either of them, I'm not going to be mad about it. I will be mad if Tori ends up, and no, I'm just joking. Tor Tori is terrifying, by the way. That's the character on this show I would actually be the most afraid of. Yeah, and that's why in the trailer when I saw that little sort of look back and forth with her and Robbie, I was like, okay, this is, makes sense going into this season, but, you know, that's not something I want to see long term. <laughs> I, I think the thing I'm having the hardest time with right now is this, we're still like three months away from this. I hope they give us another trailer between now and then. Yeah, or at least a couple of teasers, get some sneak peeks, something like that. I feel like they've done a really good job with the promotion already. And yeah, we are months away still from the show that I think we're going to continue to get some more little sneak peeks or spoilers that are going to come out. And we will be here for you when they pop off. Promote. Cobra Kai till you die, Netflix. Thank you very much. Okay, well, what did you guys think about this trailer? What are your hopes for season four right now? Let us know. And of course, smash that like button, subscribe, check out our other coverage. We'll see you here next time.